everyone. Today we're going to look at Web3 Modal. So arguably one of the most popular wallet connection libraries out there, and they just released a version 2 recently. So version 2 is still an early alpha, but it has some really exciting updates. First of all, it looks amazing. It comes with support for a ton of wallets right out of the box. So desktop wallets like MetaMask, Brave, Ledger, and a bunch of others as well as support for all mobile wallets through Wallet Connect, as well as separate integration for Coinbase. Previously in version one, um, you had to configure support for every different type of wallet manually with Web3 Modal, but now they've made it super simple, even simpler than Rainbow Kit arguably, to instantiate this. And the other most exciting thing about this update is that Web3 Modal and Wallet Connect, they're actually going multi-chain. So right now they have support for React and Ethereum, uh, but they also have Solana integration coming out and they have libraries coming out for Vue, Angular, and Vanilla JavaScript, which is amazing. Um, will allow for a lot more cool dApps and a lot more sort of multi-chain innovation uh, as we move into the future. So um, today we're going to set this up in an XJS application and show you guys how to do that. Um, for that, we need to install a few different packages in our next step. So the React library, the Ethereum library, as well as Ethers.js for any contract related things, obviously. Um, we need to get a project. We need to set up a project on Wallet Connect's website. I'll walk you through all of that and we'll see how it works. So I've created a folder on my computer, Web3 Model Tutorial, and name it whatever you want. And we're gonna start off by creating an XJS app over here. I'm gonna run yarn create next app dot and we'll be back once this is done. Awesome. So now that the Next.js application has been set up, we're going to add all the dependencies we need. So at the Web3 Modal Ethereum, at the Web3 Modal React, as well as Ethers.js. One cool thing actually they also did is they, under the hood, Web3 Modal now uses Wagme. So if you ever use Rainbow Kit, if you ever use the Wagme React hooks for Ethereum library, it's absolutely, it makes things a lot easier uh, making transactions, reading account data, reading balances, ENS names, things like that is just so much simpler now because it's all exposed through React hooks now. So that is great. And we will go check it out as soon as this is done. Awesome. So I've opened this up in VS Code. Now, the first thing we want to do is want to go into your app.js file. And we need to add a Web3 modal component over here to um, share with the rest of the app to have some context available to the rest of the app. So what we're going to do is we're going to import web3 modal from at the rate web3 modal slash react. And we're just going to do the web3 modal component over here. And we need to pass it some configuration. I'm going to name it modal config and we'll define that right now. So for the modal config, there's a few things. Uh, there's a few things we need to define. First of all, uh, let's do the theme. So we'll go with the dark theme for now and we'll play around with this in a little bit. Uh, then for the accent color, we'll go with the default accent color for now. Again, we'll play around with this in a little bit. Then we need have some Ethereum specific configuration we need to do. So we need to give it an app name. Uh, this is primarily used by Coinbase wallet, uh, which shows a uh, app name when you're connecting to a wallet. So I'll name it Web3 Modal Tutorial, name it whatever your app is named then we need to give it a list of chains we support. We need to give it providers for those chains and we need to say auto connect. Um, I'll set it to true. So if a user has previously connected to your website, when they load the page again, they will automatically be connected again. Um, and last thing we need is we need to specify a project ID. So we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, as for chains, this is to say what EVM chains, what blockchains are you going to support? And for providers, it's just having access to Ethereum nodes or RPC URLs who support those chains and you can talk to read and write data to the Ethereum network. So for this, uh, Web3 model now comes with great helpers. Uh, we can just do import chains and providers from at the rate Web3 model slash Ethereum because this is both Ethereum specific things. And uh, let's say I want to support the girly testnet, so I can just do chains.girly and it will automatically um, add support for it. Similarly, maybe we also add support for Polygon Mumbai over here. 
for the providers, um, this is actually related to the project ID, so I'll explain that first. But basically, Web3 modal uh, uses Wallet Connect under the hood for different things. So if you want Wallet Connect's Explorer API, you want their RPC provider, as well as other cool V2 features they're working on right now, um, we can just use Wallet Connect to sort of become our provider and also give us access to a few different analytical tools that they offer. So to do that, you head over to cloud.walletconnect.com, go over here, and then once you've signed up and logged in, click on new project, name it whatever you want. I'll name it Web3 Modal Tutorial 2, as I already created one earlier. Click create, and this should give you a project ID. So copy this project ID, go back into your code editor, and add this project ID here. Similarly, in the providers array, uh, you can set your own providers if you want, it's like Infura and Alchemy or whatever. Um, you'll see the list of available options. So you can provide an Alchemy provider, Infura provider, a direct link, a public provider, or use the Wallet Connect provider, which is what we're gonna use today. So with the Wallet Connect provider, you just need to give it your project ID again, and it will get you RPC access to all the chains you want to support and uh, the analytical information on the cloud.walletconnect.com website. So this is all the configuration we need. Really simple, really short, to the point, and even simpler than Rainbow Connect now, Rainbow Kit now. So once we've done this configuration, let's head on over to index.js or any other part of your application. I'm going to get rid of this default code that Next.js gave us. And what I'm going to do is, remember I said that uh, Wallet Connect now uses Wagme under the hood. So it actually exports all of Wagme's hooks. Uh, it re-exports them from the Web3 model React library. So for example, the use account hook, you can just use it as uh, const address is connected equals use account. And even though autocomplete doesn't show up right now, you can just import use account from at the rate web3 model slash react. So the React library re-exports all of Wagme's hooks. Wagme is also a React library. And with this in place, uh, we can just do, we can just check. So if the user is not connected, we can return them the connect button. Um, and we need to import connect button from Web3 model React. And if they are connected, oops, I forgot to write return. So return connect button. And if they are connected, uh, we can just return them your address is and address, right? So with this in place, let's try running our application and see how we did. I'm gonna open up localhost 3000 in the browser and you see, we'll see I'm not connected right now. So uh, this is the connect wallet button that I get from Web3 modal. If I click it, it opens up um, their modal, so I can choose Wallet Connect, MetaMask, anything. Let's say I go with MetaMask for now, and this will pop open MetaMask on my browser as expected. And I choose whatever wallet I want to connect with, click Next, continue, and then it'll ask me to switch the network from as previously on mainnet. So we added support for Gurley. I'm going to switch to Gurley, and it'll say this is my address, as we said. So similarly, you can do other things. You have all of Wagme's hooks available to you. Um, so use ENS name, use provider, use signer, things like that. Now let's play around with the theme a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the website and I'm going to disconnect my wallet from here. You can use do this through like a disconnect hook that Wagme offers, but for now I'm just going to go to MetaMask and disconnect account. And with that in place, um, I should see the connect wallet button again. Now. If I go back to app.js and we can play around with the theme values over here. So if instead of the dark theme, I do the light theme and go back to the browser and refresh the page, uh, you'll see that the new model that pops up has the light theme on it. So I click the button. This is how it looks on the light theme. Other things we can configure are the accent color. So I'm just gonna show one example. Let's say we do the green accent color instead of default. So type in green over here and go back to the page to refresh uh, for the changes to take place. 
and you'll see the button is now green click on it see all of this is green and so on so you can customize it however you want um, but this has been web3 modal for more content check out learn web3 i hope to see you there and give, tell me what else you want me to cover thank you so much have a good one